Center has impacted my life in so many ways. I feel like it has given me a family in Kenosha where most of my family is not here. Um, it has given me a sense of purpose that I don't think I'd have otherwise. And what's important to me here is the way you guys care about, about homeless people. Um, I met a lot of people. It's, it's nice to be around people who have the same kind of, you know, uh, experiences. Being around here, seeing people and talking to people, we get learning. learning. I can get learning and I like the Bible study. You know, I love it. I love being around people. For some reason, people seem to get along. <laughs> oh, you guys make me laugh. Oh my God. Man, I've learned to appreciate things. I learned to appreciate a, um, a warm shower. Um, every time, especially in the winter when I have a warm shower, I appreciate it so very much because I know personally people that do not have that. Ooh, that is a great question. And I've thought about it many times. <laughs> but thank God he steered me to the Outreach Center and has me doing things that I touched on when I was younger and never dreamed I would really be doing it now and helping people. Um, I don't know, I think spiritually I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Um. I think the Irish Center has taught me um, that every day is a new day. In the beginning, I was homeless. And the Outreach Center saved me. And now I'm, I'm, I have uh, housing, and I'm doing good for myself. Thank, I can thank the Outreach Center for the service that they have given me and the service that I know and see what they are giving other people. Um, as of right now, I am looking for a house on my own and I'm, I just got engaged. Congrats. I don't know where I'd be. I would not be as good of a person. I would not be loving. I don't think I would have learned that I could love people that um, are very different than I am. Yeah, I got a few people here almost like a counsel to me, but they go have big sister and brothers to me and stuff. And I think they, I was, I don't know. I, I'm being, I don't know where I'd be if I didn't meet them, I had them with me. Well, I just say I'm grateful for the Outreach Center. Um, the one thing I want people to know about the Outreach Center is that it's unique in the way that you don't have to have a reason to be here. So a lot of times people just come just cause. They come for social time. They come to have coffee and donuts. They don't come for one reason. You literally can come here just to come. That is open to anybody. We don't care who you are, what you are, where you come from. That it's not a cost to give you love. It doesn't cost you anything. And we're always willing to help you. And we always get our hands out to help you. Well, it's a very helping place, like I said, for the homeless people. You guys go out of your way to help each and every one of those people. I've seen tremendous beautiful things you guys do out there. Um, that is a helpful place if you need to go, you know, for clothes. Yeah, you guys feel nice. I tell you, better, I tell all my friends, and you guys feel nice to me. It's a great place to come. We do have clothes and stuff. We try to guide you anywhere you need to go or whatever. But uh, we, that's like love, keep love, and then we got love for all. People say the fact that they they feel accepted here, um, they feel the love here, um, they don't feel judged. Um, I, I just know that once they start, they don't stop. <laughs> the return of people. And the reason I say that because folks won't come back to you if they don't feel love or respect or kindness. They won't come back. We have a return of people all the time. To know that there is a place that you can go, whether it's winter or warm summer. You can go there and get help, especially if you're from out of town. 
and uh, you could go in and get help as far as clothing, a place to stay warm, a hot cup of coffee, a few donuts if you like, and they feed you, they clothe you. We um, are the only place in Kenosha that has the absolutely free clothing closet. And our donors are very generous when it comes to the clothes. Mm -hmm. So it's good. You can relax. They got clothing. They feed you coffee. If you're outside, no place to go. They got you come here from nine to four. Give you a little time to relax yourself and get your thoughts together. <clears throat> what I would want people to know about the Outreach Center is that it is a loving place. We are not perfect people that work here, but we try very, very hard to share God's love with everyone that comes through that door. The staff here do all they can because some people, when they come in, they don't have nothing but they have what they're wearing. Um, the Ari Center is, I think, it's like Kenosha kept secret. And we can touch so many lives and we can touch so many more if people knew about us. because we get the things, um, uh, even small things, like our refrigerator went out and we got a new refrigerator. Man, we need a new refrigerator. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, a refrigerator comes to the door. And this man came in and he only had one hand and we had one really nice glove just sitting there. Uh, yes, <laughs> him too.